Hey you guys, I am here. <laughs> I I finally did it. I'm recording my first video. Um or filming. Filming, I guess. I'm showing my age. I'm filming my first video. Um I've been wanting to do it for a while, but you know, you kind of get in your head about things and you I you know, I was like, you know, is anybody even gonna want to watch? And <laughs> you know, you start kind of getting those negative thoughts and um but, you know, a lot of people have been requesting on my Instagram, um, asking me if I'm going to do one, if I have one. And I was like, you know what, I, I might have at least a handful of people watching. So let's try this. Um, and plus, you know, I've had quite a few like, come on, where's that channel? Like Monique. <laughs> um, I'm here, girl, finally doing this. Um, if y'all don't know Monique, y'all need to, um, y'all need to go follow her. Uh, she's a good friend to have in your corner. She's amazing. She's She'll be your biggest cheerleader, but, um, yeah, she's always like, girl, where's that video? <laughs> where's that video? So here it is, girl, right here. And, um, also shout out to Quiche, um, Momster Plans, um, Vanessa, Nessie Plans, you guys also encouraging me to do this, um, get a, a video going. So here I am. And so I decided to do my first video, um, kind of just showing what I have um, going on in my Hobonichi weeks for 2024. The year has started out kind of, eh. so I had like a stack of like a planner stack of different thing books and stuff I was using. I haven't even touched them. Like this is the only one I've touched so far. So this is what I'm going to show. And so I went with the blue, um, cause they didn't have black. I wanted black. They don't have black in the mega. So this is the Mega Weeks, and so this is what I have in the back, just a sticker. Pretty simple. Like, I wanted to start out kind of simple. I don't think it'll end up that way, um, but this is how it's starting. And she's already getting chunky, like, and it's just January, but y'all know. If y'all know me, if you follow me on Instagram, you know I love me some chunky planners. And I don't mean to, like, I don't sit there and purposely fill them up to get chunky. They just... I don't know. This is why I like the week so because any little thing and it just starts getting fluffy. So um so yeah, so there's that. I just have this those stickers. This is the front. Can y'all am I even I'm oh, in frame. Okay. Um so this is when I first flip it open. Um just a few stickers, like little motion motivational stickers. This is just funny. I love that. Uh I think this is from um Kylie Lexi designs or Lex Lexi Kylie designs. Sorry, I get a lot of my stuff from her. This is from Planner Planner Monkey Co. Um, and if you guys have any questions throughout this video, like stickers or whatever, I'm gonna I don't want to spend too much time like showing what everything's from. Just, I think that takes a lot of time. Um, I might mention a few things here and there, but if you have questions, um, let me know. And then also, I will be putting down every shop. Um, everything that I have in here, I'll put the shop in the description because I do want to give credit to them. But, um, yeah, <laughs> a little disclaimer. Anyway, so this, uh, is like a little floral vellum. So my initial thought for this planner, um, for 2023, I wanted something like vintagey kind of, and it ended up being more floral as you'll see as we get in here, but it still has like kind of like a vintagey vibe to it. So I don't know. I don't really get stuck too much on like themes or anything. I'm just, I don't know. I'm just uh, a little bit of everything. <laughs> Whatever I think is cute and I like, that's what I put down. But um, yeah, as I started decorating, I was like, wow, this is very florally, <laughs> if that's a word. Anyway, so this is going to be uh, where I just, throughout the year, I'll just kind of switch the pictures out just so I have pictures of my kiddos. Um, so this is kind of vintagey, little typewriter, very simple. I didn't want anything, um, like I wanted this also very simple because you can kind of see, peek through. I don't know if y'all can see that, but you can see the little words pop through. So I didn't want too much craziness back there just so it would look cute and simple. So there's that. This, my yearly, um, I reference this a lot. I am on here always looking at the dates. So um, the little green 
um, highlighter marks. Those are my husband's paydays. I don't work. I'm a stay-at-home mom. But those are paydays. The little squares. I don't know if you can see that. Those are like my kids stays off from school. And the ones that are circled, those are virtual days. And then I have um, some dates down here that I need to uh, remember. And then this is cute, like a little foil paper I got from Michael's. I didn't need the 2023, so I just covered that up. That's what is back here. And I might highlight the paydays on here for now. I ordered these little, like, um, clear circle dot sticker things. Um, I placed an order on Etsy, like, in September of last year, and I still don't, I still haven't got them. I messaged her in December, like, hey, I still haven't got these, and... She says she's going to send them back out, but I still haven't heard anything, so I don't know if I'll get them. <laughs> we'll see. Um, so this is my little fitness. Um, oh, I don't know if I showed you the, that's the yearly tab for that. This is the fitness tab for this one. So what I, I'm doing here is I numbered it one through five, so that represents the week of each month. Um, so week one, week two, week three, so on. So what I'm doing here is I'm going to track my weight. Um, so like on the Monday of week one, I wrote down my weight there, uh, week two that Monday and so on. And so then at the end of the month, um, right here, if I gained weight, which I hopefully that's not the case, I'm going to write how much, you know, from the starting to, uh, the end of the month if I gained anything, I'll write it here. If, and if I lost any pounds, hopefully that's the case, I will write it right here. So um, at the end of each month, I'll see like how much I've lost and that, keep a track right there, if that makes sense. And in my head, it makes sense. So we'll see <laughs> how that goes. Um, and then down here, I'm going to do, I'm going to track, um, I'm going to try to walk a lot. I can't do much like actual workout, workout, I have a bad back. And then I just recently went through some epic surgery and I haven't been able to move much as far as like exercise wise. So I've just been trying to walk, which I haven't even tracked. Like the beginning of this month has been hard, y'all. Like I have um, anxiety and depression and I've been pretty good about um, like controlling it and being able to like, like feel it coming and like, you know, I've learned how to kind of help myself out of it but it's been tough this year <laughs> and um I've just started feeling better like two days ago and so I haven't even like I've touched it as far as like writing down what I have to do for the week but that's it like I haven't even been on here to do much um so I'm hoping all that changes anyway all of that just to say I haven't been doing anything um I'm marking anything down but anyway the way I'm going to track this and hopefully stay on it um, it'll be a check mark if I walk on that day um, I'm starting this like fasting uh, program or thing schedule eating schedule so if I on the days that I do fast all day I'm gonna be doing an X if I just do like um, an inter intermittent fasting type of thing I'm just gonna do like a little slash <clears throat> which means, um, it, you know, if it's like you only fast for like a certain amount of hours per day, intermittent, I don't know. Anyway, that's what that means. <laughs> so I'm just going to do a slash for that. And then if I close my rings, so those days that I do get to do some type of workout or some, like I get the full rings closed on my um, Apple watch, I'll do a circle. So that's all going to be right here. And then my period is also going to be tracked on here. And I'm going to do, I don't like to do red. I did red last year and it just, it grosses me out <laughs> for some reason. I just, so I'm doing pink instead. But anyway, that's going to be tracking my periods also. Um, so yeah, I, hopefully I, I can stay on this and get it done. Um, so this, um, I don't remember the shop I got this from, but I, again, I'll link it at the bottom. But this is just like a sticker flake. Um, and these are the birthdays of mainly all of my cousins from my mom's side of the family. So what we do is like at the end of every month, we'll celebrate all the birthdays for that month. 
um, for January, February, February, we celebrate all of these three together um, at the end of January. But everybody else, like, there's a lot each month. <laughs> so that's what we do. So I kind of keep track of that because um, I'm the oldest of the fan of the cousins. I'm kind of in charge of making sure that we celebrate everybody. So I have all those down. Um, here, I don't know. I'm looking for a sticker flake of some sort for that as well, but I'm not sure yet. I don't know if I want to do other like special event tracking. That's probably what it's going to be, but something that kind of goes with this, um, just to cover that up. This is December's. So after that, you get to the months. And so I'll have this little monthly tab that I'm going to move with each month. Um, cause I don't have the months tabbed off. So this will just move from month to month. So I know exactly where to go for the month that we're on. Um, so that's what this looks like so far. I haven't done much decorating. Like I said, it's, it's been a interesting few month few uh, days. <laughs> um, so my planner reflects it right now, but, um, yeah, just probably do a little bit of deco later on. Yeah, so that's January, February. I usually like to just plan on sticky notes. Um, so like I'll do like my forward planning on sticky notes. Unless it's something that it's for sure, like, you know, Super Bowl, of course, that's going to happen. <laughs> Virtual day, um, class parties for my kids, stuff like that. I know it's going to happen. I go ahead and write it down. If it's things like this that might change, I just write it here before the month starts. That way I'm not having to white out. A lot of stuff. Um, so there's that. Again, here's March, April, and these <clears throat> um, date stickers are from Lexi Kali Designs. There's May, June. Yeah, have it done. Much deco other than just the day the, or the month sticker. And then these I just wrote drew on there or wrote on there and these will be forward plan i do forward plan um like i need january and february march um usually i cover it up but i don't know if i want to keep that open because i have all of these other like december i have all of december that i have free so i might cover these up to do use for s other stuff and then i'll leave this for forward planning um, so after March, I have my calendar of like, um, like future events, I guess you can say, um, to kind of just get a big picture of like what's going on. <laughs> and I haven't finished filling it in yet, but, um, just to kind of give an example, like my cousin gets married on the fourth, we're going to a Texas Rangers baseball game on the fifth for my dad's birthday, uh, spring break, Easter, just so I know like, okay, this month. These are the big things that are happening um, and so forth. So that kind of is like a big screenshot of, of our activities for the, the for like the big events of the month, if that makes sense. Um, and then after that starts the weeks, which of course, um, December, I don't do anything. I don't start until January 1st. Um, so I made this on Canva <laughs> and I didn't. Well, I guess I didn't remember that it was actually leap year. So it's actually 366 days, but you catch my drift. You know what I mean? <laughs> so, um, yeah, it was very plain because yeah. Yeah. Y'all know. Y'all know. <laughs> uh, this is week two. Again, I haven't even done any, like tracked nothing. Like I want to, but I just don't, I've, I've done things like I've checked stuff off. I'm getting stuff done. But I'm um, not doing anything extra. <laughs> and this is week three, the current week that we're on right now. I was going to film yesterday, but um, day got away from me. So we're filming now. Um, let's see. This is the fasting schedule. Uh, the book that I'm currently reading. And again, haven't even touched this this week. So hopefully next week will be better. So... Okay, so then after that, so I have these tabs. Um, these are so cute. And I'll have those linked below too. Those are so, I love those. I don't know if y'all can see the shimmery. 
Those are so cute. Um, okay, I got those off of an Etsy shop. And then this is the notes pages. So I covered up the page that says notes. And I put like this little motivational, I made this on Canva. Just like little mo motivational like words and stuff. Like, yeah, this is my year. It's my winning season. Um, I really wanted that like at the forefront of everything so I can um, get some motivation in. And then I just loved this um, vellum, the roses, which is my tat. Um, so I put that there. What I did, so I, don't, I was gluing it down or I was about to glue it down and I used like a glue bottle, like, um, I don't know what it's called, but it's like a little, I don't have it up here. I started putting that on when I should have just used the glue stick because the glue stick works with it. I don't know what I was thinking, but after I put that on there, I was like, oh no, because I don't know if you can tell on here, it's kind of like bumpy. It's got like lumps in it and look, <laughs> I love the sound. But it's like, it's very, very crinkly. But I'm like, you know, that's fine. It's the last day. Um, I don't, I won't be using it from the first to the fifth. So it's fine. <laughs> but I love that. I'll sit there and like, just mess with it. Um, but anyway, <laughs> squirrel. I get sidetracked. <laughs> um, and then this is the my word for the year. And I don't know if I want to just leave it like that. Or I want to put like little words or phrases of like what that means to me. Um, so I'm still thinking, debating on what I want to do there. Um, and then this is my vision board for the year. So um, we're building our little house. We're building a little like mini barn dominium. And it's kind of going to be, it's kind of going to look like this. So I found a perfect picture that kind of resembles it. Although it's going to have like a full... Um, not a wraparound porch, but front and like side big porch, maybe back. Um, that's the only difference. Um, but it has like the upstairs and then it's going to be black with the wood. And anyway, you catch my drift. <laughs> um, I put this wake up, work out, look hot, kick ass. And it's not a picture, but it's, I need that. I needed that in there. Um, this because I want to get back, back to church, back to, um, getting in my Bible and all of that stuff. So that's a big part of my, um, vision for 2024 and, and moving forward, uh, coffee and reading books, traveling, uh, live in the moment. That's my, my motto for the year. Uh, we're going on a hunting trip in Wyoming again this year. I have an old 72 Chevy that we, um, I bought and we're fixing up. And so it'll be done. I think by springtime. It's, I'm so excited. Um, and then this money is just because we want to be more smart financially, um, saving money and stuff like that. So like our house that we're building, it's, um, it's all like money out of pocket. Like we're not doing any bank loans or nothing. Like it's all, everything's being paid for cash. And I love that. So um, it's a part of being financial, having financial freedom. <laughs> um, our land is paid for, like, it's, it's amazing. So I can't wait to get in there. And then Disney, um, we wanted to do Disney this year, but we might have to push it to, we we're going in October, in September, but we might have to push it to either Christmas or like early next year, just because of like everything else. We have so much going on this year that might have to get moved out, but so I might have to change the vision board a little bit. <laughs> um, and then here, uh, my goals, I'm going to write down my goals. I don't have that many this year. I didn't want to stress myself out with so many goals and then not be able to reach them. And so I'm just doing a few, um, but I haven't written them down yet. So I need to do that. And then here I have some Bible verses that I want to kind of like be my main focus for the year and to look on and reflect um, throughout the year. And so this is for our uh, barn dough. This is, um, so I write down the expenses, like every time we take a trip to Lowe's or Home Depot or whatever to buy parts or whatever, paying people to do the labor, um, everything that we spend on the house, I write it down. So this is what we spent last year 
on it. Um, and because I want to keep track of that. I want to know like how much it's costing us to build this thing. So that's for that. And then this is um, like what we need to do. Um, right now they're still finishing the framing in the inside. And so then I need to start writing down like all the stuff that we have to do. And this is for like the actual build. Um, lit more in here, I have another page where, I think right here, I'm gonna do for like the interior, the stuff we'll need, like the furniture, the um, decor, stuff like that. So this is just for like the actual build of the home. And I don't, I should be good with two pages. I don't know, we'll see. Um, Alexa, clean the house. <laughs> I wish that was that easy, right? Like, I would love that. Um, so here, this is how like my schedule is um instead of doing everything like in one day i like to spread it out because it just makes sense for me um and it's better that way on so like i said i'm a stay-at-home mom so while my kids are at school i do all of the busy stuff so that way when they get home or on the weekends like my time is theirs and i don't have to like be cleaning and all of that stuff <laughs> so this is just like the daily the main things that i do for that day and then of course like you know my daily tasks and my monthly and then the quarterly or yearly whatever I still need to write in here but that's kind of the idea car maintenance um I don't think I need two pages for this so I might do something else here I'm not quite sure yet this is my kids um attendance tracker thing um so here's like there's class schedules um or like their school schedule with the what they do throughout the day and then here I have their attendance um, so I think this is from peanuts planner co I printed it out and so the highlighted hearts are like days that the school gives for holidays <clears throat> or it's closed for whatever reason um, the highlighted V are for virtual days and then I'll do like a check for if I check them out early um, for like doctor's appointments, whatever. X is if they're out all day. Like it's not scheduled on like part of the school calendar. It's just something like either they're sick or whatever. And then back here, I'll write the reason. So like if I have an X, um, I can go see, oh, she missed school that day. And it was because of a dentist appointment. So that's just how I keep track of that. And then this is my son's teachers and like stuff that they like that way. Um, for Valentine's or Christmas or whatever, I know what to buy them. That's for my daughters. I know what to kind of get them or whatever. And then this will be for next year's, um, after summer, they start school again in August. They'll be in a different grade. And so that's, this page will be for that. And I divided that here too. So January through May, they're done in May. And then their next school year starts in August. So I've kind of halved it like that. So there's that. Um, I am going back to school in October um, to hopefully finally finally finish. Um, this is for my oldest daughter. She's in college. Um, I write her schedule and then we help her pay for college. So I need to write like important dates and stuff like that that I like to keep. So I keep track of that in here. So this is my monthly or my health um, health. Uh, page I don't I haven't even showed y'all my so the projects thing there's a projects tab for that I haven't been showing y'all sorry and then the school tab looks like that and then the health log it has its own little tab um so I got this idea from so okay see last year I was tracking hold on let me see if I can find it so the way I was tracking it was kind of like this, except I had the kids, um, or like a page, like I had my name, uh, like my kid's name, everybody had their own page, and then I would write down, um, you know, our health stuff that was going on or whatever. But then, um, so like here, I want to show, but I had like my name and then I was writing down um like my health stuff right um and then I the same I had one for like my kids 
But then like in April or something is when I found Mama of More Plans. I found her page and I saw that she was doing like this, like the month like this. And so I started doing that and that actually kind of worked. I liked it. Um, it worked well for me. But then there was times where, because we're a family of five. And so there was times when like if we were all sick, like there was not a lot of space like in that little box to write stuff for all five of us. So I was like, I need a better way to do this. Um, and then I saw that Keish was doing this, um, monster plans. And I was like, that's a good idea because at least, like on mine, when I had my name, like I was running out of space already. So I would need at least two pages or so. But this, you know, it's just one month um, on each page. And like here, like we've been doing pretty well. I don't write like my anxiety stuff on here I track that separately um but like I mean that's it <laughs> so I'm glad I didn't use up two pages for just this you know and then if it was more I mean at least I have more space and then this I know like pink is always my daughter my youngest daughter we all have like a color code as well so it's easy to track so anyway that's that um October November December and then so this is going to be like our medication list stuff that we take um, on the daily um, questions I want to ask the doctor health tips um, that I want to know or that I want to make sure that we're doing or whatever whether it's something the doctor recommended or something that I just look or find somewhere and I'm like oh we need to start doing this <laughs> um, so there's that this is that um, fasting plan that I told you guys I'm on um, it's working pretty good, but man, it's intense. Like, there's a lot of fasting days. It's been really tough. Um, and like, so the doctor that's doing my reconstruction, and if you follow me on Instagram, um, I was um, diagnosed with breast cancer last year in August. Um, thankfully, um, thank God, I'm completely healed now. I had to have a double mastectomy, but that was able to, they were able to get all the cancer out. Um thankfully. So, um, now I'm kind of on this plan to lose weight before I do a reconstruction. So this is the plan that I'm on, but look at this week, like week 12, I'm going to have to fast the whole week. I don't, y'all, I don't know. Ah, I'm screaming inside, <laughs> but anyway, I'm hoping that works. Um, but then I found this little schedule or little fasting thing. Um, so I want to try this after I do this. Um, I don't want to go back to like eating regularly because I don't want to gain it all back, but I want to, I don't want to keep doing this. This is intense. So I was thinking maybe something like this might help. So we'll see. Uh, these are just notes that my doctor gave me. Um, so here I want to do my weight loss tracker and I was doing really well. I was going down, but now I'm going back up and it's, you can tell like where my days, I just haven't really even been, I don't care. <laughs> I'm like, you know, it, it doesn't matter. I'll bring it back down. So here I just kind of have like my goal weight, what I want it to be, where I started. Um, but yeah, hopefully I start seeing this number go down. And this is tracking um, all the way to December. Um, it's the day before my birthday, like the last week. I think it's like week, um, week 49 is what I'm tracking it to. So there's that. And then my sleep tracker, I'm also tracking this because I want to see if this also has something to do with my anxiety and depression and all that stuff. So that's just kind of how I'm tracking that. Um, so I see I have some good days, but then also some not so good days. So that's January through June and then July through December. This will be my pet health. We're getting, we're not getting our puppies until we have our house completely built um but i wanted to wait we're getting two puppies um two dogs so i'll be putting their names on here and then track like their medication their shots and stuff like that um so then i have a family fun night uh, list of things like that i know that we love to do or new things that we haven't tried um we try to do this at least once once a week we have like a family thing like no phones no nothing we just we'll pick something and like that's what we do for fun just to spend time together as a family um and then also something that my kids and i do um 
we've done this since they were little since my oldest was really little so we'll have like mommy daughter dates or mom son dates and so they get to choose like what they want to go do and just like they have me for like the whole day um and they love that because there's no other siblings interrupting their time with me or whatever and they've loved it so we've we've always we've done that every year and so i just started writing little things that i know that they love to do um and sometimes they'll be like well no what do you want to do mom so like i love it they're so sweet Ugh, being a mom is such a blessing y'all um but anyway so yeah so we'll do things like that we'll every month we um we get a day and then we just we spend the whole day together and then this will be ideas for date night for my husband and I um, kitchen closed so this is just going to be a list of like restaurants that we haven't tried or new restaurants that are opened up or restaurants that we do like but we never really think about when we're wanting to go out to eat we'll forget about it um, so I started writing a few names down here that way we know like okay I'm not cooking tonight where are we going and then we can like oh yeah we haven't been to this place in a while or you know whatever so that's gonna be that um, this will be fun things to do like here in our state um, you know pretty close to us this is gonna be stuff for like the states around us or like other places that will like if we have like a full weekend or something we want to go travel go see something new um, that's what that's gonna be for to get out of the state um, this is going to be our spring to-do list, our summer to-do list. Um, this is our Wyoming hunt. I had another trip planned here, but I don't know if it's going to happen, so I just um, put washi tape over it. But yeah, we're going to Wyoming in October. We're going to make a whole, like, um, thing out of it. So we'll probably go for, like, a whole week or week and a half. Um, go to, like, South Dakota, Montana, like, we'll do a whole, a whole family thing out of it. Um, this is going to be for Disney World, which I don't know if I mentioned earlier. I don't know if we'll be able to do it um, in September, like planned. It might be later on, but I'm still going to start planning it and stuff. Just It might just not be on that date. So this will be for... Um, we're, I'm from Oklahoma, so we're big OU fans. Um, so this is going to be the football schedule and then the softball schedule on this side. This is for the Texas Rangers baseball um, their schedule I'm just kind of keeping track of what they're winning they won the world series last year um so it's going to be interesting to see how they do this year and then so this is my again karaoke list i gotta have my songs <laughs> what um we do karaoke a lot around here um a new podcast um that i hear about or whatever i want to try and give them a listen i'm going to write that list there uh, this is just going to be like girl boss stuff. So I started this. Um, this is just going to kind of keep track of like ideas, you know, the videos that I want to do. Um, I'm going to write them in here. And same here with um, Instagram though, like little ideas for reels or whatever. Um, keep track of it there. And then this, um, not exact. I have some ideas written down, but it's not really for sure yet so I don't want to show that quite yet and then this will be for my house for the interior like stuff that I'm going to need furniture etc and then I still have quite a few more sheets left so I still have this left over um don't think I'll need that much for the house stuff maybe three pages or so so I mean I still have quite a few that I can do things with so then here I have my Valentine's Day, so all this will be holidays. Like this is going to be planning out what kind of ideas I have, um, either for my husband and I, like a date or something. Um, we always buy the kids stuff um, and take it to their school. Um, so I'll be writing like little ideas or things that I want to do for them. And same for Easter, like our Easter plans, I'll write it down here. Stuff that I need to buy, what I need to cook or bake for the Easter parties that we'll have. Uh, for my mom and dad's birthday. So my dad's birthday, we're taking him to the Rangers game in Arlington, uh, Texas. So um, I need to like plan, plan that out with my sister. And then for my mom, we're not sure what we're doing yet, but I'll plan that out here. This is to plan out Mother's Day, Father's Day, my oldest for her birthday. Uh, I'll be writing down ideas and plans and such. This is for my husband's page for his birthday stuff. 
uh, 4th of July party. We always have a big cookout at our house. We live out in the country, so everybody loves to come out to our house, do fireworks and stuff. Uh, this is for my son for his birthday. This will be for Halloween. I haven't decorated that yet. For my youngest, for me, for our birthday, I, planning ideas, Friendsgiving, um, Thanksgiving Day, like what I have to cook or whatever, um, bake night. So this, um, my cousins on my mom's side, we get together the night before Thanksgiving. Um, the whole, this, okay, so this happened like 15 or so years ago. We, um, it's been probably 15 or more years. Um, cause we always do like all the cousins, we all, the girls will do all the baking and, um, that's what we take. And then the guys, sometimes they'll, they'll bake too, or they'll just take like the drinks and cups and stuff like that. Um, but, um, I don't have to sneeze. Maybe not. <laughs> Maybe not. So we got together one day and we're like, Hey, why don't we just all get together the night before and we'll do all the baking. Um, we'll just make, you know, like a fun bake night of it and all the baking will be done so that, you know, Thanksgiving morning, we don't have to sit there and bake like everything's ready. Right. So we show up and everybody bring their baking, brought their baking stuff and we did some baking, but then, um, you know, we also started drinking and then we started playing games and it just turned into like a really fun night and we ended up eating a lot of the stuff that we baked. Um, and so we still had to bake the next morning cause like it just didn't turn out. But we had so much fun. So the next year, they're like, hey, let's do that again. So we did it again. But it was like less baking and more of like the drinking and the having fun and the playing games and all of that. Um, and then it, it just started happening every year. We just So now, and we just call it bake night still, even though we don't bake anymore. <laughs> but we'll have like a cookout. Like we make a whole thing out of it, um, like a cousin's Thanksgiving. Um, so it's really fun. So now our kids, like our younger kids, you know, they come to and we play games with them and like my cousin's kids and it's just turned into like a big, big deal. And I love it. So we'll put the plans here, um, for that. Um, and this will be to plan out Christmas. So like stuff that I need to bake or cook or what kind of plans that we need to make. Um, and this is for our new year's plans. This will be for birthday present ideas for family and friends. This is for uh, Christmas present ideas for some of the family. Um, mainly like my sister, my in-laws, sister-in-laws, stuff like that. Okay, so this, um, so once I plan like this, right? I have like my daughter's, my oldest daughter, her birthday or my son's. Once I plan this and kind of, this is like the rough draft thing. And then here will be like the final, like this is what we're doing for the birthday. Um, so this is just kind of like jotting down ideas, trying to figure out what I'm doing. And then this will be like, right, this is what we're doing. <laughs> so I have a little box for each and ours is smaller because we don't, we don't go all that out anymore for our birthdays, but we still do. We try to do something. So that's that. These are shows that I've watched so far this year. Have not watched any movies yet. Um, but these are pretty good so far of. Of like the uh, series that I've been <laughs> watching and then in here is my finance uh, section which I don't want to show but I did leave a blank one to show you guys kind of how I do it so here I'll do my bills that I have to pay and then this side will be expenses um, throughout that like pay period so that's how I, I do that so I just have the date of each payday and then that's just how I do that and then this is just a little fun savings challenge. Um, I did that last year. And I think I have it right here. So I did that last year and I, wait, that's for my kids. Hold on. Yeah, this one's ours. So that's this one. Um, and it's just something extra. Like we have like a separate savings plan. And so this was just like for fun. Um, but it was great because last year I was able, and I just like, oh, what do we do with this? We ended up putting it towards Christmas, which was great. Um, and then my kids have, I have one for my kids as well. And it's something that like we have a separate savings for them, but this is something that they do with like their money that they get from, um, birthdays or just, um, uh, chores or whatever. And cause it's like the amounts are very small. So like, this is how, um, I have separated it by 
I have it separated by kid. I have three kids. Um, so like the most that they'll ever do for one period is $13. Um, but they end up, they end up saving $344 and 50 cents. Um, so they did this last year and they loved it. So at the end of the year, like this is what they had. And so they put it like towards Christmas. Um, they got themselves something, they got other people something, which is so sweet. Um, and then they ended up also just like, Hey, can mom, can you put this in my savings? So like they added it to their savings, which is like amazing but like it's something fun for them to do too and they got excited um doing it so there's that and then i have uh, my bill tracker here so i have just keeping track of our bills this is track of our like, car tags down here which are due yearly and then in here what's in here oh so in here is uh passwords and then this is christmas list for my kids my husband and I and then my mom and dad a wish list um just like stuff that I hear them say or they're like hey mom can I have this can I or I want this or whatever I'll write it down that way you know I know what to get them for birthdays or just because gifts or whatever uh these is going to be my list for new planner shops that I look into this year that I want to check out this year planner wish list this is my to be read list. So these are like books that people have recommended or that I've heard of that sound good. So I'll keep a track there of that. And then this is how I'll track after I read it. So um, like the date I start reading it, um, when I finished reading it, and then I kind of rate it um, how, you know, depending on how I like it, like a little note if I want to do that. Um, I was also thinking of maybe like covering this up and doing, I don't know if y'all seen like people they'll do, they'll take a picture of the book, like a little picture of what the book looks like and they'll like just glue it on there. So I think that'll be a little easier. Um, I like the idea of the stars, like to read it like this, but, um, I don't know. The other, um, picture idea is kind of cute, so. I don't know. We'll see how it turns out. I don't know what to do. Um, on this one, I was thinking maybe um, splitting it. So like this, do like maybe songs, like new songs that come out this year that I'm like, yo, this is kind of cool. I like this song or whatever. So I'll write it down. And then something different here. I don't know. Or just my favorite things. I'm not sure yet. <laughs> and then I don't know if I'll do this or not. I might change the, the question, like make it fun questions maybe, and then do that. I don't know. <laughs> this will be covered up for sure. Something fun. And then again, this is my mood tracker. Um, I did this last year and it looks so cool, like completely covered or colored in. And I was able to see like I really had a lot of happy days, um, which like I said, you know, I struggle with anxiety and depression. And so years before, I always felt like, those were more like I had I felt like I had more down days than good days um but last year after seeing it that like I'll show you guys um after seeing it um completed like there's a lot of yellow like or even pink like there's a lot of yellow and pink which is happy and pink is okay like happy to me is like I'm happy like I'm energized like I'm feeling it I'm just dancing like I'm I'm me 100% <laughs> and the pink okay is just like I'm good you know I'm just it's a good day it's a happy day I'm I'm not super energetic and stuff but I'm good um and then the brown is down so like the depressed and see I don't have that many last year and I, it was so good for me to see that or like the anxious you know the blue I don't have that much the sick yes I was sick for like a crazy amount of time there <clears throat> I had a few ang anxiety days there but nothing like crazy you know and so I loved to see this at the end of the year I it made me feel really good it made me feel really happy so that's what I'm hoping for this um so I like you know these past few days have been been down <laughs> but um it's okay we're gonna we're gonna fix that the sun has been out lately and so 
getting more of that vitamin D, which is great. <laughs> so this will be covered up just like this. I'm going to do the acrylic paint over it. And I'm going to put the sticker right in the middle like this. So that's how that was last year. And that's how I'm going to do this year. And it's the same um, tracker. So it's happy, good, down, anxious, sick. Is it even? Can y'all see that? And then the purple is like a, if I have like a full on panic, panic attack. So um, this, I, I don't know. I want to cover it up. What did I do last year? So last year I did, oh, okay, so I, I did like a sticker, my number and email, and then I did um, just washing like that, okay. I don't know, we'll see what I do on here. That's covered up with that pretty full paper. And then that's the back, and that's it. That's it, you guys. Um, and I also don't want to do a cover yet like I had this in a cover most of the time <laughs> I still have all my Christmas decorations in here <laughs> um but yeah I still need to go through here also and take out a lot of the stuff there's a few like clips and stuff that I want to use in here um I'll probably do a video of that probably yeah so I don't know I bought this like clear um let's see if I can find it it's like a clear clip um, that have just helped like keep it closed. This one. So I bought this. So I might, I might do that. I think it like sticks. Yeah, I think I'm gonna do that. That way it'll keep it closed. And then this has like a pen loop too, so I can have this has a pen loop in the back, but. That way I can do two pens or a pen and a highlighter. But yeah, I might do that because I don't want to do a cover just yet because it, just, it makes it feel bulkier really fast. Um, so yeah, I'm going to do that. I'll put that on there later. But yeah, guys, that's how it is going so far. Um, I still have, like I said, a few pages that um, I can do either more collections in or do maybe dailies. Uh, I'm not sure yet. I don't have enough for like a full year of dailies, but um, we'll see. I, you know, I had this. So this is what I planned for to do dailies in, um, like dailies and like journaling. I put this in here, but as you can see, I haven't even touched it. I I decorated it. Um, which I really love how that turned out. And I added this little vellum in here. And then that. That's it. Like, I haven't done much with that. But I was planning on... Because um, I, I do this. I use this a lot. I use it on the daily. So I was thinking like, you know, that's my monthly, my weekly. My weekly is like my main, like, I have to do all of this. <laughs> And then this will be like my, okay, this is Monday. I need to do this, 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 this. Like all my tasks, I guess I should say. You guys know. If you're in your plan a lot, you know what I mean. But, yeah. So, yeah, we'll see what happens. Um, and then I also had this freely noted uh, from Planner Monkey Co. I decorated it. I started doing the monthly, um, so I did a lot more in this. I have all my monthly stuff, and then I had a few like lists. So I was thinking, this is just gonna be like my. See here, I have like all my cousins' um, um, addresses, and then I have like a shopping shopping list so this is just like my jot down messy whatever planner like I'll just stick it in my purse and it just shopping lists um all sorts of lists or whatever and then this is my task I don't know I don't know I'm gonna figure it out I'm still working on it <laughs> I have all year right I have all year and then I also um okay this this uh is just getting longer this video is getting longer so sorry but anyway this is going to be like my journal um 
like my journal, family journal stuff. And then this is going to be my fitness weight loss thing. I don't want to get too much into it because this video is already, already super long. But um, I didn't even drink my coffee. I was just talking and talking. But anyways, thank you guys for watching. I hope this wasn't super long. I love longer videos, but I know some, some people might not <laughs> like them. But um, anyway, that's what I'm doing. And then I will be showing you guys more later. I have... I think I have enough content for a few more videos. Um, but yeah, I'm excited to to do this video. And I hope you guys loved it um, or liked it. Um, leave a comment of what you think I should, should not do <laughs> next time. Um, just be nice, be kind. Um, and again, thank you guys so much for watching. If you want to follow me on Instagram, it's uh, Mommy Plans. I will put it down in the description somehow if I figure that out. And... Yeah, so I hope you guys have a wonderful weekend, um, and I will see you guys next time. Bye-bye.